Alright, so welcome back, and uh, this is going to be the last, or well, one of the last anyway, videos in this series where I will be showing how I cut myself out of this background here to make this little picture right here, okay? So we're going to be removing all this background noise. <clears throat> um, the way that I do it is all with Photoshop and um, it's pretty pretty basic there are other tools uh, I think I mentioned once before Virtus Fluid Mask which is something I do use but it's just a little more complex a little more complicated than what I wanted to include in these videos so I'm gonna be showing uh, you how you can do it with Photoshop without having to buy another tool like that so I've just opened the picture, the original picture. Now we're going to go to the layer and double click so we can edit the layer. It was locked. And we're going to be blowing it up here. Oh, let me see. Okay. Going to blow it up pretty big. <clears throat> I always like to do it really big. Okay. And then we are going to be clicking on the pen tool and we don't want this shape layers we want this paths checked okay so we're just going to be cutting around me so we're going to be clicking all around me just like this and uh, when you when you go to move like obviously I need to be cutting up here you just um, hold down the spacebar and see the pointer turns into a hand when you do that hold down the space bar and it will allow you to drag you just drag down you just click and hold the click and then you drag down okay so now we're back to the pen tool and gonna be going around all the way around here and I'm gonna pause it here in just a second after I do the hair because this is going to be extremely boring for you to watch. I'm sure you already know how to do this part anyway. So we're dragging down. And a lot of, what a lot of people do with hair is they'll try to like go, you know, weave in and out all the hair strands or whatever. That's just ridiculous for this. So I just always cut it straight just like it were my skin there. Okay, so I'm going to pause this for a second and then just go ahead and cut around the entire picture and then we'll uh, go on to the next step. Okay, I'm back and I've just completed um, full circle around here. I've just cut cut out around my entire body. And now what we're going to do is um, right click within um, the part that you just cut, cut out. Just right click there. And we're going to go make selection. Feather radius zero. I just ignore all that stuff. And we're going to come up here and click on select. And then inverse. Actually, let's do this. Let's do select modify contract. Um, and we'll do two pixels. And what this is going to do is make this area close in so contract even more like cut even closer into toward toward me by two pixels and the reason I always do that is because um, you'll tend like when you go around it you'll tend to miss you know you'll get some some like maybe this see this white in this background here you might you might get a piece of that or a piece of the background that you don't really want so um, I usually do it just so I get the uh, the entire cutout of whatever it is I'm, I'm cutting out. So now we'll go back up to select and inverse. Okay. And then edit and clear. Alright, cool. So we cut out the background there. Now we're going to go select, deselect to take off that highlight there and go back to the magnifying glass click on the minus button because we're now going to back out to the size that we want it to be and there you go there's our picture and to move it into a document you simply click the move tool 
open another document and click and drag it into the new document there there's the uh, the full size obviously it's it's really big so what we would want to do is go layer smart objects group into smart new smart object click on the corner hold down shift then click and then drag to the size that we want it to be and there we go and then click enter and voila and uh, if you'll notice like on this completed picture over here to the right you'll see like there's like a drop shadow and that's because I added a drop shadow <laughs> you just click on the layer you rasterize the layer if you like and double click it to get its layer style and you click on drop shadow and boom see it applies the drop shadow to the picture pretty nice and you can change the settings here you can change the position of the shadow or you can change the spread make it bigger or the size of the shadow there or the distance to make it look you know farther away or whatever it is give it that cool little effect and um, yep that is it um, pretty darn easy huh if I don't use a drop shadow I, I usually do um, like an outer glow which you won't really be able to see on this uh, this background but outer show or excuse me outer glow or drop shadow um, just because you know, if if you let, let's say let's clear the layer stuff. If you left it like that, you get see the edges really easily. You know, it's got kind of jagged. I don't know. There's, maybe it's just me, but it looks kind of jagged to me. So I always try to add in some kind of an effect to, you know, kind of just spice it up a bit. But yep, that's it. Hope you got some uh, good information out of this video, and I will uh, see you later. Peace.